something! You found something! Stop! What is that? Oh my! How very curious! I don't believe I've ever seen anything like this before. Pierre! Hand me your machete! It's not effective. So pick it up. Bring me the box. I must get this to the university for further studies. Yes. Yes. Morning, sir. Uh, you don't appear to be Kazakh. May I ask what expedition you are on? Sir, I see that you are fellow explorers. We are looking for interesting artifacts. Have you made any such discoveries? Sorry, sir. All we found are rocks and very common artifacts. What is in the box? Just, just rocks. Nothing that, that you would be interested in. May I see? Sir, we are running behind schedule. We must be on our way. Have him hand over the box, Pierre. Unless you want to be next. You would betray your entire crew. For this rock. Ah, but this... This is no ordinary rock. These are fragments from the meteor shower. It will benefit us all. Now hand it over. Now! <laughs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! I regret to inform you that your journey must be delayed. Permanently. Gee, Lois, after covering the story of the German U-boats on the East Coast, it's nice to have some time off. Of course, Clark, the next story is right around the corner. There's no rest for the wicked. Speak for yourself, Lois. Smart, Alec. <laughs> you know, I've been wanting to see Dillinger for a while now. I'm a big Ann Jeffries fan. I gotta say, that Admin Lowe was quite the actor, too. Of course, it starts with those depressing newsreels. Golly, Lois. Even after D-Day turned the war around, there's still a lot of Allied blood being shed. That madman Hitler just won't give up. Well, now that we'll be going to Europe with the press corps, we'll get to find out firsthand. We? Shh, the newsreel's starting. What do you mean, we? We're not going. When we don't get involved in the war. That's dangerous. The paperwork's been signed. It's been decided. I'm going with you. Shh. Sure we got everything? Seems like we're going on vacation, Lois. A woman has her needs and shoes for every occasion, Clark.
woman out of here. I'm not having any female correspondent in this command. We don't have women's lavatories, and I don't want a thousand soldiers having to hike up their knickers just because she's around. That doesn't matter, Field Marshal. What matters is I'm a damn good reporter, and my objective is to cover this war. I have every right to be here. She's your responsibility. Keep this female out of my hair, or I'll make sure the both of you are on a flight to Siberia. Understood? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Right then. A photographer has been assigned to you from your 42nd Infantry Division, the famous Rainbow Division, which made such a splash during the First World War. Joseph, send in Private Callahan. Mr. Kent, Ms. Lane, meet Private Donald Callahan. He'll be your photographer. Now, you three will be assigned as a team to cover the war effort with the 42nd Infantry Division. Now, they've been pushing into Germany, but you'll still need to watch out for Jerry's scouting this side of the front line. You'll meet General Collins at the German border. You move out at 0800 tomorrow morning. Have your kit packed and ready to report. That is all. You're dismissed. Can you believe that damn tatter? Call me the woman. Who the hell does he think he is? Well, Lois, you gotta understand that this is a man's army, and most women stay at home. I mean, sure, some are out helping with the war effort, but they're doing it back in the States. They're not out here on the front lines. Excuse you, but whose side are you on? I have nothing but your best interest in mind, Lois. I'm just reporting facts. Don't forget, I'm the best reporter the Daily Planet has, and my readers will appreciate my work. Uh, excuse me, Miss Lane. Did you say the Daily Planet, as in Metropolis, Illinois? Yes, I'm a big city girl. I'm sorry, young man. What was your name again? Uh, Private Donald Callahan, ma'am. Uh, as a coincidence, because I'm also from Illinois. Uh, Maline. Well, you're a regular hayseed, aren't you? You know, as a matter of fact... You know, uh, we've had a really long day. Why don't we go get some rest, and we'll uh, meet up at the canteen later tonight. I hear they have a great band playing this evening. Swell idea, Clark. But, you know, I have to assemble my photography equipment for tonight. Um, how about we meet at 8? Because we can get a couple drinks, a cocktail, we can get to know each other before we head on to the assignment tomorrow. Okay, Don. We'll see you tonight at 8. Great. I'll see you then. Let's go, Clark. So, Don, how did you get assigned to our photography? Well, uh, back in Lowly, I worked with John Deere Company, and I was in their photo division. I ran the photo stat machine. Photo stat machine? takes pictures of documents and actually makes photocopies. I also would go out in the field and take pictures of their equipment and some of their tractors as well. When I was brought into the Army, I was actually sent to the Pentagon, and I worked with the Women's Army Corps there for their photo stat machines, and I helped them learn how to use and how to train and keep the paint with all those. I actually came to France after that, soon after, and that's when I got called to here. I'm an Army photographer, and uh, they sent me where I needed. So here I am. Well, Don, you're certainly well-rounded experience in the field. Well, it's certainly a privilege to work with someone who appreciates women in the military. So, you're my photographer. Uh, yes, present reporting for duty now. Great. You work for me now. Excuse me, I need to go powder my nose. So, you two, I think, uh, it's complicated. How about a drink? Uh, yeah, club soda. We got an early start tomorrow. I agree. I never drink and fly. I, I mean, when I'm catching up with the time zone. <laughs> right, makes sense. What's up, you look lonely there, soldier boy. Uh, well, hello, ma'am. Uh, have we met? Yes, we have. Just now. Um, 
my orange from Tucker. I'm gonna get back to work, but give me a call sometime. Who's that? I, I, I don't know. Some girl just walked up, sat down, and gave me your number. I'll tell you what, you will never understand the words of the female mind. What was that you were just saying, Clark? Oh, uh, we are just talking about how important a woman's point of view is to be the military. Well, all of you think this is a man's army, and I don't agree with that. Women have a strength that men don't have. And besides that, Superman will save us if we get into any real danger. Well, see, I don't doubt. I'm, I'm happy to be here, and I'm very glad that I got this assignment. But I am a little nervous, and don't get me wrong. You know, I was never used to or expecting to see the front lines directly through my lens. And, and Superman and everything. Isn't it just a cartoon? Are you implying Superman isn't real? I, I mean... Yeah, I guess I am. He's just like Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. Careful, Donnie. We better all fight with the Nazis to fight with her. So are you with us, Don? Or do we have to report you AWOL to the field marshal? Um, well, you know, after thinking about it, this assignment does sound like an adventure. You're a smart young man. Glad you see things my way. Well, gentlemen, we have an early morning. Got your tongue, Don? Uh, I'm just deep in thought. I'm uh, excited about meeting General Collins. I hear he's quite the character. I'm just excited to get into the action. Lois, you realize where we're going? We're not in America. Miss Lane, even though D-Day has passed, we're still in dangerous territory. I'm just glad that I was in Washington during the most dangerous part of the war. What are you, a coward? You know what, Miss Lane? You have some nerve. You think it's just a carnival ride. All the guys that I was in boot camp with, all the soldiers, they're either injured now or they're dead. Who would want to be in this horrible bloodbath? Especially now. Ugh. Mr. Kent, Miss Lane, Private Callahan to the Third Reich. So you're here to tell the world of the victories of the glorious fatherland? So how can we use you most effectively? We're merely here with the press corps to cover the war. We're here to attack you. You give us a story, we'll tell the world. So this one here is part of Roosevelt's SS. Therefore, you are all spies, and I will destroy you. But first, I must see what knowledge you possess. Let them go. Just take me. No, Clark. Leave them out of this. It's me you want. I'm impressed. All of you are so honorable. This especially for this proud line. Very vulnerable. Touch her. No. Clark! <clears throat> oh, oh, uh, You're doing nothing. I will do it all, but I please. And you are the 
Execute Mr. Kent. No, Clark! Take them! Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? you could join us. Where am I? Who are you? How do you know my name? Did you drop something? From you, yeah? Information? I'm the reporter. I'm the one who's supposed to ask the question. Ah! But today! Today will be different. I will ask the questions. And you. You had better answer. Now, you can obey me. An answer.
Or I can make you talk. Now, I will only ask you this one time, Miss Lane. What do you know? No, I don't know anything. The military wouldn't tell me anything, and even if they did, I wouldn't tell you. Dr. Gerhardt, you're needed in the lab. Can't you see them? Can't you see that I am lurking? The Deferia wants to see you. He says it's urgent. Danke schön, soldier. I will get back to you, Fräulein. I didn't mind them, so that. They need more time. This man, this, this thing, he has decimated our super soldiers. These photos were taken by one of our spies. After all that I have invested in medication, breathing programs, trauma based mind control, you have failed me. This is the work of the Roosevelt SS. Rainbow Division! My fear! Please understand that I am doing everything possible, but, but, but this, this, this being, he, he, he must be genetically modified or, or, or from the future or, or an alien! I, I, uh, uh, Your promises are varying my patience very soon. Uh, I will take this uh, little now. Uh, Cut out your eyes! I have a prototype! I have a prototype! You're looking for a super soldier! Explain now! I have created your very own super soldier! I, I, I wanted it to be a surprise when it was perfected. But, 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 but I, I, I will show you now. I want you to show me. M M Mattel, come. A machine? What is this? Uh, my fear, it is not just any machine. This is a man fused with a machine. How is a machine going to defeat their allies? I discovered a radioactive rock which emits very high levels of radiation, which makes it indestructible. I have applied it to technology stolen from a secret service facility. Dr. Gerhardt, you better be advised about this. Ah, you have nothing to fear, my fear. I. Oh. Present to you your very own Superman. Metallo, kill him! <laughs> Damn it, Kent. 
I can't believe you let them out of your sight. I understand your frustration, Field Marshal, but we didn't know if there was Nazis around, or our tire was shot out, our driver was killed. I don't want to hear it. You're a reporter. Tell me you found some clues to track them down. Well, sir, I did find this pill bottle that one of the German soldiers dropped. My dear boy, did you realize that you weren't dealing with just ordinary Nazis? I thought not. I mean, they were exponentially strong and fast. <sighs> These men are known as Hitler's super soldiers. This D9 they carry enhances their human capabilities, makes them feel euphoric, allows them to stay awake for days on end. It may even enhance their strength. You're lucky to be alive. Well, this D9, where is it stored at? Keep in mind, this is top secret. But from what I've heard, it's produced at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Berlin. They do a lot of uh, neurological research. I wonder if that's where Lois and Don are being held captive. I certainly hope not. That's one of those places where they do their horrendous experiments on humans. Can we send special forces in there? You're talking about one of the most secure locations in all of Germany. For us to get in there would be like well, the Nazis walking into number 10 Downing Street or the Oval Office. It just isn't going to happen. Get out of my office. Now, Kent. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Yeah. Hello, friend. Uh, what can I do for you? Clark Kent with the press corps. I'm gonna need to see a map of Berlin. Oh, uh, sure. Don, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be all right. Don't worry, Superman will save us. Seriously, Lois, what about Clark? Clark is... Clark is probably back at the base contacting Superman. <laughs> not to burst your bubble, Miss Lane, but... Superman is not real. How can you say that? He is real, and he's coming to save us. Oh, come back to reality, Lois. We have to get ourselves out of this mess. Why do you have to be such a stick in the mud? Why do I... You just don't get it, do you? I don't get it. Why are you coming up with make-believe malarkey? We have plenty of soldiers fighting for our country right here. You're just a photographer. What do you know? What do I know? I just got beat up by some damn Nazi. How come your Superman didn't swoop down and save me? Hey! He is coming, okay? You know, you have quite the imagination for being a reporter. Why don't you believe he's real? You know what's real? What's real to me, Lois?
men like me, who put on the uniform, who stand up to the enemy. No superpowers, mind you. They come halfway across the globe, fighting territory they've never been in, and they defend their loved one's freedom. That's what's real to me. You're right, Don. But, superpowers aside, Superman shares the same values as you. He's brave, and he's made sacrifices. He left his home to fight for humanity. He's fast, and he's strong, and he gives us hope for a better future. He's a hero, and he is coming to save us. Well, if this Superman of yours is real or not, we have to figure out this ourselves, and we have to get out of here before those goons come back. Wait, how did you get out of those ropes? This ain't my first rodeo. Oh, great. Come on. Let's get out of here. He can't see loose. <laughs> Schultz, where'd you take her? Lois? like you could use a hand. Oh my god. Where'd they take her? Uh, 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 uh. Find a radio, let the field marshal know where you are. We're going in. Oh, how did you know we were here? Golly, he is real. Lois. 
Are you all right? Well, there. If it isn't the Ubermensch. You sick, twisted Nazi. Why, I am but the doctor. You're done doing your experiments. Not quite. Prepare to die. Ubermensch, meet Metallo. Finally, he bows before me. Good work, Doctor. You will not win. Our very own creation is far more superior than you. You're on the wrong side of this fall. Your country wants you to believe that you live in the land of freedom. But it is full of lies! You possess the powers and the privilege that every man wants. Allow me to give you one last opportunity to be my champion. I want to build a master race. Then together, we will take over the world. We will control the town sheep. We will perfect the one. You are an evil tyrant. And I will never serve you. Dr. Gerhard, initiate Metello's first target. The Superman. Metello, destroy Superman. God, seize him! Don't run! That's a beautiful American girl. No! Don't touch her! Josh, take him away! I must finish my work! The thing makes it. Leave her with me. Are you ready to comply? No! We will see if you change your mind after this. Ich kenne dich benutzen! Und Freunde zu toten! I will have you kill all of your little friends! And I am sure that if we send their body parts home in boxes to their families, it will be a nice parting gift! Wouldn't you agree? Get your hands off of her, you Nazi scum. Ah, ah, but this, this is the clay metal radiation combined with our drugs. You will be under our command. No! Are you ready to comply? Yes, sir. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, I hate Nazis. <sighs> you see, children, the idea of Superman is as old as the world. Eve chose to be a god, knowing both good and evil. Then before, she only knew good. Heroes, titans, demigods, Prometheus, who brought fire upon the heavens. Prophets and saints of all religions. Knights who saved maidens from tall buildings. A vacant, sleeping beauties. Vanquished dragons. That's how best all gods. All of these images, all of these images of the Superman. They are nothing, nothing. Mine, Superman, is the crowning glory of them all. Superman, kill her. Superman, don't do this. Superman! I knew that you had it in you. The Superman! What are you doing? I believed in you! Superman, I... He killed you. I saw him kill that you. That wasn't Superman. Oh, sure looked like it to me. I... Well... All right. I need you to find a radio. Okay. Contact the field marshal. He needs to know a location. Now. All right, what are you going to do? My job. General?
You're gonna tell me what I need to know, you rotten pile of crap. <laughs> Talk! Now! No, you haven't. Where? Tell me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shit. back there. Why are you even sticking up for him? I, didn't he almost kill you? That wasn't him. That wasn't him? I, you had no idea what the Hitler was even saying. I, I'm starting to think maybe he was right. You're a disgrace wearing that uniform. You okay, Don? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. I... Sorry for what I did back there. No, I, I should be apologizing to you. I listened to that madman. I tra Lois tried to explain that you were. I... What matters, Don? Is that you and Lois are alive. <sighs> you okay, Lois? Yes. Are you? Yes. This brave young soldier saved my life. Are you sure, all right, Private Callahan? You look I... like you could use some medical attention. I really am. I'll be okay. I should be, I, I can walk it off. I shouldn't be going to a hospital. I've seen one enough today already. All right, let's get you two back to Reams. Uh, is, do we have a plane? Do you, anywhere? <laughs> Looks like you still don't believe in him. No, it's not that I just, we. It's okay, not everyone has seen a man fly. Let me give you two a lift. Uh, oh! <laughs>
Let's see them. The Great Scott. What do you mean you can't print this field, Marshal? Miss Lane, what you and Private Callahan covered is a story. That never happened. But it did happen. Just like I wrote my story. This is history. Private, do you believe her story? Field Marshal, I for one would not believe a word of what she wrote if I wasn't there. But I was there. What she wrote was the truth. Joseph, get Kent in here. Hello, Field Marshal. Mr. Kent, I know Miss Lane will tell you her story, along with showing proof of the event in Private Callahan's photos, which quite graphically back her up. But it never happened. Understood? Uh, yes, sir. Good. Mr. Kent, Miss Lane, I thank you for your service here at Chief. Although you are not soldiers, you have served your country well. War is winding down, and uh, I think you've seen enough action. I will recommend that you return stateside. Back home, to your jobs as reporters. That is all. Oh, and, uh, Miss Lane, what I said about you as a woman? I know. Women are the stronger sex. That will be all. That stogie sucking blowhard of a field marshal. I came all this way for a Pulitzer Prize winning story and I can't even report it. That's true. And I took all those photos and I can't even publish them. It'll be fine. Lois, there will be other stories. And Don, you were a major setback to the Third Reich. And although it may be top secret, you could live your life proudly knowing that you served your country bravely. So Don, how are you feeling after the whole ordeal? I'm a little roughed up, but I'll be fine. I can't believe you went up against those super soldiers, and especially that Nightmare Metallo. I can't believe it either. I'm actually still in shock. That'll be a story to tell your kids and grandkids someday. Oh, I certainly hope so. And maybe by then the top secret status will be a thing of the past. So what's your next assignment, Don? I've actually been assigned to be personal assistant to General Collins. I only uh, wonder if I'll have to fight any more Nazis. <laughs>
up on Krypton Way. He has a super swag that makes the girls say hey. He lifts the most weight in his class. And now he's headed to Frizz, ready to kick Nazi ass. And now the Nazis jump when he comes out to play. He's a super duper super boy from Company K. Hey. Sent him to the danger zone to take a stance. Hey. Ran with the rainbow truce but got himself in a jam. Hey. The field marshal understands. Hey. Donna Lewis got nabbed and now the flames are all fair. And the super soldiers drop when he comes out to play. He's a super duper super boy of Company K. Hey. Oh. 